What's up, everybody? This is the Chicago Sports Talk, Michael, back at it again with another Chicago Bears video. <coughs> it's been reported that Matt Eberflus defended Justin Fields during the offensive coordinator search. And there's going to be – and there's a lot of speculation going on right now. And I'm going to get to my opinion of what happened here in a second. Because, uh, again, people love to, to just say, oh, he's just doing that because that's his teammate. And even if he does deserve some of the flashback or the, the uh, criticism, Matt Eberflew still has to defend Justin Fields because that's because, you know, they work with each other currently right now. And um, all I have to say is this. If you think that, that's your own opinion. That he's just doing it because that their work, they work together. But at the same time, it's all these players, not just us fans that chanted we want just we want fields, the last home game here in Chicago. It's teammates like DJ Moore, uh Jalen Johnson, and Demarcus Walker and Tremaine Edmonds, and I could go on the list of people on the on this Bears team that only are there because they want to play with Justin Fields, they absolutely respect Justin Fields. And people will say they're not going to care if he leaves because it's a business. Well, let me give you something that I'll counter that with. We already know Justin Fields' connection to DJ Moore has been elite. Don't – if you go look at when Justin Fields was out due to his thumb injury, go look at DJ Moore's production when we didn't have um, Justin Fields in the game. Now, granted, I do think that that was a – Coaching issue that we didn't give DJ Moore the football. But you want to know the difference between Bajan in the game and Justin Fields in the game? Bajan um, did not have a good connection with DJ Moore. DJ Moore barely got the football when when Tyson Bajan came in. Go look at ba uh, go look at DJ Moore's numbers when Tyson Bajant was in the game and compare it to when Justin Fields was in the game. So we already know Justin Fields to DJ Moore has been elite. And the whole locker room rallies around Justin Fields. And believe it or not, you'll, you know when a quarterback has lost the locker room. Go look at um, Trey Lance. He lost the locker room when, when Brock Purdy had that successful run last year. Go look at Zach Wilson last year when he said, uh, I, I did not let the defense down. Immediately, the locker room did not like his comments. This is, if people want to bring up, oh, the players did this for Mitch. And all I have to say is not to this level, folks. Not to this level that they defended Mitch Trubisky. Even Matt Nagy did not defend Mitch Trubisky. Because you know for a fact Matt Nagy did not like Trubisky. He benched him even when we were undefeated. Well, our record was like 2-0 uh, when we benched him for Nick Foles. Matt Eberflus has – and here's what I think happened. There were probably offensive coordinators that wanted to, you know, make an argument that Justin Fields didn't improve this season, which in some areas he did improve and some areas that he still needs to uh, work on before he could become a franchise quarterback, whether that's here or somewhere else. I do believe that there were offensive coordinators that wanted 
wanted their own quarterback. And Matt Eberflus says, no, we don't want that. We want to stick with our current guy because he gives us the best chance to win. And you already know my opinions about Caleb Williams and the other quarterbacks that um, are in this draft class. He, and honestly, pe- Ryan Pohl still has a lot to operate before he makes um, his decision final. Rather, he does decide to move on from Justin Fields, which honestly could destroy the locker room. Because even though if they're gonna the the players are under contracts, don't be surprised if I'll give it one to two years that they'll either leave when their contract is up, or they'll ask for a trade. Because I want you to understand what the Bears do could either help the lo- locker room or destroy the locker room, because who knows. It, uh, if the locker room is going to rally Caleb Williams or not. Who knows if they're going to rally up a different quarterback. Because the locker room loves Justin Fields and they play very hard for him. Same with Matt Eberflus. You you hear the interviews of, of the, the defensive players, Montez Sweat coming out and saying that he likes the culture here in Chicago more than he liked the culture in Washington. And I get people want to say that it's a business, but I've seen players and head coaches bash quarterbacks or players. I've seen it, and you know for a fact when a quarterback loses a locker room and you know he's done. And I do believe Matt Eberflus did defend Justin Fields, and my opinions on Justin Fields are always going to be the same. That if the Bears were to move on from Justin Fields, he's going to have success somewhere else. That would be a Bears move. Or that would, not a Bears move, more like a Bears thing that he'll go somewhere else and succeed. And Caleb Williams turns out to be a much worse version that would be a bears way of handling things and you tend to (laughs) you tend to the cycle that the bears have been repeating rookie quarterback paired with a coach coach gets fired in one year uh now the quarterback gets paired with a head coach, general manager that didn't draft him. And then maybe one to two years success. And then, then you could, then the regression starts. You're like, then we talk about bringing in a new quarterback because we failed to develop the previous one. That would be, that would be a bears way of handling things. So, I will not lie to you. The pressure that we Bears fans and the players in that locker room are putting pressure on Ryan Poles to keep Justin Fields. And trust me when I say this. If they, however, move on from Justin Fields, we'll be we'll be content with we'll still support our team, but we're not going to be happy with it. I'm telling you, man, Chicago people have a voice. And you heard it in Soldier Field, the last home game. We want fields. You saw us uh, like put signs up that says that keep keep Justin Fields. The fans have a voice and they have a power. Same with the players in that uh, locker room. Ryan Poles can destroy the locker room. Or make it better. Because chances are you trade Justin Fields, that kills the locker room. And you restart the rebuild. And I already told you my opinion last video. I said if they were going to move on, last year would have been the perfect time to do that. Because you would have used the excuse, hey, at least we have a quarterback that's um, developing. Now, in a make it or break it year for not only... The, the, the front office and the head coach in a make-it-or-break-it year, 
you can't use that, oh, the quarterback is developing excuse. So if the Bears draft Caleb Williams, you better hope and pray he becomes the uh, – he has an Andrew Luck or C.J. Stroud year his first year. Because if he doesn't, Matt Eberflus and Ryan Poles will be fired. And the Bears will trend to the cycle that they've been repeating since Mitch Trubisky. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, as always. Thanks for watching.